So the latest film we did is called Ebenezer the Traveler. And does anyone know the story of A Christmas Carol? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Ebenezer Scrooge, the cranky old man who uh, is very cheap and doesn't like Christmas, and he gets visited by the three ghosts, the ghosts of Christmas past, the ghosts of Christmas present, the ghosts of Christmas future, to change his thinking of, uh, of Christmas. So we all know that story. So what our movie is, is a continuation of that story. So what happens is Christmas Day, Ebenezer wakes up, he has the spirit of Christmas in him, he gives presents to everybody, gives the turkey to his coworkers, and all is well, that it, all's well that ends well. And what happens that night is Ebenezer Scrooge unfortunately passes away, but not from his own hand, somebody played a part in his passing. So he goes to purgatory and they don't know where he's gonna end up because he's not supposed to be there yet and they give him a chance to earn his redemption a different way. So now Ebenezer Scrooge is gonna become one of the spirits to help others find their way in their life of things that, you know, things that have gone wrong. So that's what our movie is about. Ebenezer Scrooge comes to modern day, 21st century Oklahoma, and he's here to save a girl who is in danger of, you know, her, her life going astray. So when a, when a movie is, is created from a book, people always say the book is better because the book is able to go into more detail as to what the world is around that you're watching, but also the emotion of the person. It, it tells you what they're feeling and, and, and you know, how they're reacting to things because they're able to write it in so many words that you understand, whereas it becomes difficult in movies because as a director, as a cinematographer, as a, you have to convey those 50 words that an author used to describe a situation and you have to kind of cram it into a few seconds that the audience can relate to. And so the action here, what sets up the scene is, Scrooge and Fan approach the bar door. It's obvious that she's been doing her best to talk him out of whatever he's planning to do, but to no avail. He's apparently determined. This isn't a good idea. Of course it is. We have a deadline, no pun intended. Fan retrieves her hand mirror. She looks inside of it. Jacob, would you please tell him this isn't a good idea? It's a stupid idea. You haven't even heard us yet. What idea? Scrooge leads in and addresses his former partner directly. My perfectly sound idea to deal with this in the most meaningful way possible. These things take finesse, Ebenezer. You can't just dictate terms. Humbug. Just like in business, there's gains and losses, profits and penalties. All we have to do is enforce the penalties. Change cannot be forced, sir. It must be accepted willingly. It's free will. Marley, when you showed up rattling your chains and set those spirits upon me, was that your free will? Not mine, yours, Ebenezer. What is it you're planning to do? I'm going to go in there and speak to this big Ed fellow and explain to him that he has to do right by this young lady, or else. 